Okay, hello guys. We are back in my Seno um, part of my world. So, I believe last episode we explored a lot of the underground and we found this really cool pink biome. I still haven't looked up what this is, um, but I actually really like it. I think I'm going to build a house here and kind of play off the pink and black color scheme. Uh, but for today, I know we've made our way to the right side of the world because we talked to Jay the angler, but now I think I want to make our way to the left side of the world, which means we're going to have to make it through the jungle. Uh, but first, I think I'm going to build a house just because I want Jay to be a little bit closer to us. Um, I should probably stop building temporary houses and start building like actual houses with um, like personality and character, but we'll figure that out later. Cause I don't, I don't know, I really don't want to add, I guess I can add one more house on top and then after that I'll stop. So let me just do that just so we can have a place for Jay to live. Um, okay, here's my wood. And then I don't think I have any platforms, but that's okay because we can just make some. Okay, so I believe it was six in here. Five, six, and this will be where the door is. I guess I'll just end it right there. Okay. So yeah, after I build this house, I think I'm just gonna do some more exploring, um, just so we can make our way to the other side of the world, just so we can have the whole top part of the map, of the map filled in. I think I'm going to put the angler up here, or maybe I'll just move our merchant up here and then put the angler where the merchant is. Um, though, honestly, I might put the nurse up here. Honestly, it's a bit hard. I kept saying honestly. It's a bit hard because I want the nurse to be kind of close to us, especially once we start doing boss battles, uh, just so I can use her to heal up. Um, but I also want the merchant to be pretty close instead of having him be like all the way down here. I think I'll move the nurse here our demolition is here, but move him down so we can get all the same uh, flags. And then I think that'll be good. So now we just need the angler to move in. Um, boom. So hopefully when it turns night, he should pop over here and we'll be all good. So let me just quick stack all of this and I think we are good to go. Just trying to put away some things. Okay. I'm, up. I'm actually going to take... No, I was going to take the Eater Souls banner to place it by the corruption, uh, but we can always come back and do that later, once we actually go fight the corruption bosses. Okay, so time to go to the left. I'm also hoping that once we reach the beach on this side, and after we kind of do the whole uh, cover the water with platforms so we can stand on it, we'll be able to find some cool caves that are over there, because I'm honestly quite disappointed in the amount of loot. Uh, I've been able to get in this world. I feel like normally there's a lot more chests, uh, but maybe I just haven't been looking in like the light spaces because most of the time I've been like taking my own way instead of uh, using the natural, what is it like the natural, naturally developed caves. I can't think of the word right now, sorry. Um, but yeah, so that was our little mob boss arena that we did a couple episodes ago. I'll probably finish it and then um, fight the Fulu soon. I'm not really too pressed for trying to like speed run this, uh, just because I'm still relatively uh, bad at the game. I wouldn't really say I'm new at the game since I've been playing for about six, seven years, uh, but I definitely am pretty bad at the game. So I'm not really too concerned with trying to speed through everything. I'm kind of more concerned with just having fun and just seeing where this world takes me. I thought I could make that jump. Whoops. 
Gosh, this stuff is flowing like crazy. That's another thing I love about getting so much health is that I don't really worry too much about getting knocked back. Uh, just because we've only lost about 20 of our health. Um, which is only about less than a tenth of it. As you can see, we have 11 hearts. So it's kind of fun being slightly less squishy in the game. And then we reach the desert. Okay. I'm a bit sad that there isn't a pyramid in this world. I guess we're going to have to go and um, either make a new world for that or just see what else we can do in order to find it. Oh gosh, this is sweating. This corruption. I do really like the collection just because purple is a pretty nice color and I quite like just the design of everything. I really love the purple sand. I think it's called Ebon Sand. Um, just to be with like the Ebon Stone. But yeah, it looks really cool. I wish that when you smelted it, it would turn into a different, um, like a different colored glass. Also, I should probably put some of these here. Like it would turn into like a frosted glass, so maybe like the glass that Minecraft just added. It's the one you can make with like the amethyst, I think. Uh, it blocks like the lighting a little bit, which is pretty cool. Oh, I hear a one. A devourer? Yeah, I guess I should kill him because he probably has some good stuff. There he is. Did he drop? Worm tooth. I believe that's used for maybe crafting a magic book. I'm not too sure. That's one thing is I definitely want to go more in depth with the crafting later, just because I think it'd be kind of fun, um, just to see what's up out there and to get some cool new weapons. This could be an interesting area to explore later, um, in that little cave area, because the jungle biome also has different chests, which tend to have pretty good loot in them as well. Oh yeah, speaking of the jungle, one thing you can get in the jungle is uh, strands of ivy, which uh, combined with, I think, jungle spores and maybe hooks from piranhas allows you to make, um, what is it, a grappling hook, which I could probably make with, I think, any of the gemstones allows me to make it. Um, also, we're into new territory, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, so I should probably make a grappling hook soon just because it offers greater mobility and plus it could stop um, you from taking a lot of fall damage if you manage to fall. Is that moon glow? No, I thought it was- oh, it is moon glow. Um, I probably should have waited till it was nighttime to collect that since I don't think I have much seeds. But it's all good. I can find more. Like right here, I believe that's moon glow. Oh no, it's not. Maybe I was mistaken before. It's all good. Yeah, I really like the jungle music as well. I know I keep saying that for pretty much every biome, but honestly the Terraria music is pretty good. I really like it. It's like the right blend of pretty calming, but also um, interesting that just keeps you like invested as you're playing the game. Oop, well that was rather rude of you. Ooh, there's some stuff. I always see a chest there. Sadly, it's just a regular chest, but that's still good. I'm not complaining, especially when I don't have that much stuff anyways. Oh, it actually led all the way through. I didn't know that. There's also another um, item you can get. I believe it's called like an ivy book or something. It allows you to collect the vine rope from these vines that you could actually use like regularly, um, which is pretty nice because it's kind of a renewable source and you don't have to spend money on it. I actually don't know if you can craft rope. You might be able to, but um, I tend to not use it for very long because once I have good uh, mobility, such as uh, faster boots or jump boost, I tend to not use rope anymore. So I haven't really got to the point. Oh, that's a large area. I haven't really gotten to the point in later stages where I actually need the rope. So I don't know if you can craft it or not. I can make this jump. Oop, I 
another chest. Nice. What is that? A spike step stool holds up to each eye. Uh, I'm not gonna put it on just because like, I kind of want to keep on all my damage stuff right now. Um, but that's a pretty cool thing. I think I've seen that before. How far? Oh, we're getting pretty close to the end, which is exciting. I'm hoping that I can actually uh, manage to snag an ocean chest this time instead of leaving my stuff uh, back at the ocean, which I still need to collect. Oh, is that a butterfly? Oh no, that's a dragonfly. I still haven't managed to catch one of these. I'm gonna put my bug net in my hot foot so I can grab it. Well, now he's just teasing me. I feel I feel attacked. He's not he's not letting me capture him. To use him as bait for the fish. <laughs> We're at the beach. Nice. Okay. Um, I guess I'll weave. I don't want to swing my sword too much. It's destroying all the background. Oh, and then here's the ocean. Okay. Um, let's see. I just got a shackle. Uh, it's just a basic shackle. So, oh, this one's just a basic shackle. Okay, never mind. Um, let me see. I'm gonna chop down these palm trees. There's a sea snail. I don't know what that is. Is that an enemy? Or is it just like a, a boat? Like an animal, I mean? Wait. Sea snail. Um, can I capture it? Oh, no, no, no. Don't attack it. Oh, I guess he does damage. Okay, never mind. Do attack it. Wait, did he drop something? I think he dropped anything. I think I got something else. Well, okay. Mm, okay, I'm gonna flatten starting here. I believe you can use shells for potions. Um, maybe potion of water breathing or water walking. I'm not too sure. But I'm just gonna collect them all because I think they spawn naturally anyways. Like they're They'll start to respawn after I leave this area for a little bit. Falling star. There it is. Um, I guess I'll stop after I pass those two shells, just because I don't want to get rid of too much of the like the background plants, like this little wheat and stuff. But because I really like how much character they bring to an area, and I don't know if they will respawn after I complete this area. Okay, nice. Um, I am gonna take this palm tree though, because I need wood to start expanding over the ocean. But I'll make sure to replant these guys. I'll replant them on my flat area. Oh, oop, that's annoying. Okay, nice. Um, okay. I need some platforms. Boom, and then I'm just gonna start going over the ocean. ocean level to be a little bit lower. Um, so I guess I'll just fix this coast right here. Just to make the overall area go down a little bit. Wow, there are a lot of zombies over here. So I guess I'll just let my little finch do the fighting. that little stair step in a second. Okay, 
I'm just going to go up right here. I think we're going to run out of platforms before we make it to the end. Oh, uh, that's okay, we can always just get more wood and come back and do this later. Oh. Um, yeah, so we still have a little bit to go, but that's alright. Hmm, I wonder how far... Oh, that's not far at all. Okay, I'm actually going to go back up to the platform and then go a little bit deeper just to see. Oh, well, that's fine. So, I don't see anything down here, just some crabs and stuff. I'll go the other direction now. See if there's anything interesting. Oh, I don't think so. That goes off into a pretty steep area, so I guess I'm just gonna go back up because I don't really want to teleport home right now. Um, I kind of want to go caving in one of the jungle caves we saw. Okay, let's see. So here's our little beach area. You can see the light path of the areas that I've seen, and I guess we're gonna go in this one right here just because it's so close and it looks like a good one to start with. Stop hitting me. That's the way of you. Okay. So it seems like right here where the star is we can start to go down. Oh, there's two of them. Nice. Actually, do I have another mana star? No, I only have four. Okay. Ooh, the music changed. I think we're in the underground jungle now, which means we gotta watch out because there might be um, bees and other things. I don't actually know what other things there are there, but I know there's some uh, annoying mobs down here. Okay. Where should we go? I'm actually just gonna break this to let the water drain out. I have so much things in my inventory. Okay. Hmm. Well, this is a bit of a bust. I don't see anything over here. I might actually go back up and go into this cave. Oh, I hear a worm guy. A digger, I think, is what they're called. Oh gosh, I am not good at doing that. Okay. I forgot that I have the shoe spikes because they really do help me climb up these vertical heights instead of. Oops, I got rid of the mushrooms. Instead of just sliding down. Oh wait, is that Moonglow or is that... No. I keep getting fooled by the... those back down plants. They look like Moonglow to me. Oop. Now that we have the star, we can do a mana one. Mana crystal. Boom. Oop, there's another star. And another one. Um, oh, they just disappeared. That was sad. Oh, yeah, that means it's turning morning. 
and the zombies are running away. Oh gosh, that was a perfectly timed jump. Oh, so these are the things I was talking about? Oh, these snatchers. Uh, they like to grab you and they're quite annoying in the underground jungle. Oh, here's a chest. Oh, here's the book I was talking about where if you take it, you can actually collect um, the vine ropes. So let's see, I should probably get rid of something. Just because I like to take all of this. And then maybe I should just go back home since I think this area seems to be a bit of a bust again. Which is honestly quite disappointing. I feel like I'm having terrible luck with caves. Um, but I will show you guys that you can use this book. Oh, whoops. You have to have it... Yeah, you have to have it equipped. So I have it equipped and then I hit this and now I have some beautiful vine loop I can take. Nah, okay. I'm gonna go back home. Clear out my inventory, which you can actually hit this button and it will quick stack things to all your chests so you don't have to actually click through each of them uh, one on one, like one at a time. Um, I wonder if I put my money there, it will do it. Oh, I don't think it does. Well, that's alright. Um, so this has this. I guess it's nature-y, I don't know. Um, Money, which I'm pretty pleased about. Just because it's always helpful. Oh, Cody, please move away from my chest. There, so now we're up to, I believe, six mana, which I think the total is ten. Um, so we're getting pretty far along there. Um, I need to. But I guess I need to make another chest area for my herbs now. So, where did I place those? Here they are. Okay, um, yeah, the door can still open. Okay, nice. Here are all the herbs and I think we're good. area is it just stopped there that's disappointing as well i'm quite sad that we don't have any good caves to go in i think i'm gonna try this one by the corruption and then if we don't have any good luck with the cave i guess i can start finishing up my boss you know, so we can fight Cthulhu next time I was gonna jump over him, but I just mis misjudged the gap, I guess. Okay, I said we're gonna go to this one, right? I believe that's all Evanstone. Let's see if we can go down here and take a light.
that was very disappointing. Dang, so we really, let me just look over here. I think we really look through all of the open, like open to surface tunnels, except for this one here maybe, and this one. And I guess this one, okay, never mind. We did not do that many of them. We just did all the ones close to home. Um, because all of these kind of just stop. I really wanted an expansive cave system. I guess what I can do now is I can show you guys uh, a little bit more of the corruption. If you guys have never played Terraria before, it's kind of cool to see um, where these tunnels go to. So they all kind of meet up. Actually, let me um, do some rope here just because it goes pretty far down. Oh, I put it on the wrong place. Well, that's fine. Um, here it is. <laughs> yeah, so all of these tunnels that we see um, all connect to one area and it's like a... Oh, what? Whoops. I don't know what I'm doing. I was trying to make the rope kind of pretty to have it connect so you could just like go sideways and pop up, but it's not the easiest thing. <laughs> oh gosh, okay, whatever. We'll fix that later. Um, so here's that. And then I don't want to just keep adding rope everywhere. I wish it went straight down. Okay. Oh, here we are. Okay, so those are basically um, like uh, vases that you can break. And that thing right there is a demon altar. And I said we actually use it for crafting later on and also to generate more HUD mode ores, I believe. Okay, so here's one end of this cavern, and then, oop. And then I'm going to this end. So I don't know if you guys can see, but there's little orbs right here in the bottom left. That's actually the things you guys are going to break in order to summon, uh, the Eater Worlds. I always get the Eater Worlds and the Destroyer Worlds messed up, um, since they're kind of the same thing, just one's a little bit more technology. Um, and it's a harder fight because with the technology they kind of have these like probes that shoot lasers at you and that's the hard mode equivalent of the um, pre-hard mode one. So this is not really that large of corruption as you can see it ends here to here. So these tunnels right here probably just go straight down and then you can see we have these shadow orbs that we need to break. I only see uh, four of them which isn't the best because you do need to have three of them to summon um, the destroyer. Actually, if I have bombs, I could go and break them. I'm gonna do that. So I could show you guys what you guys can get from the actual orbs. I think I'm gonna need more than that. So I'll take some money. And talk to this guy. Hey, dog. That should be enough. Nice, okay. Then let me put away my money just because we're going back to the corruption. And then I'm actually going to take some more wood if I have any. I do have this and then this. So let me turn those back into wood. Not that one, that's turning the platforms into wood. I need, there it is. I had to be closer to the crafting table, I guess. This one. That's turning the walls into wood. Boom. Okay, let's go back to the corruption and break those shadow warps. And then I think I'm gonna end the video because it's been a good, I think 20-ish minutes, 25 minutes since the video started. And I'm trying to keep these uh, pretty manageable. It's a bit interesting since in my free time, I normally play Terraria for like hours at a time without stopping. Uh, but since I'm recording my journey this time, I've been trying to break it up into like 30 minute chunks just because I don't really want to post like an hour long video um, because my attention span is rather short. I want to plug the scorpion because uh, my attention span is rather short and I think other people who've like stumbled across my videos would agree that they'd rather than be smaller be like an easier to digest like chunk like easier to manage video. Hey but I'm excited because um once we get once we get the shadow orbs broken we're gonna get a gun hopefully and that means we can get the um Gunsmith? I don't really know what he's called. I know what he looks like. He has like a trench coat kind of thing and then like dark hair. Um, kind of looks dirty looking. Like he looks like he's been playing in gunpowder. Uh, funny thing is I don't think the demolitionist and the artillerist, maybe that's what it's called, like each other. 
Uh, that's another cool thing about Toilia is all the NPCs kind of have their own like character preferences and things. And um, some of them really like to be together. Like I think actually the gunsmith, whatever he's called, and the nurse are like friends with each other. So I think if you place them in housing together, uh, you get like cheaper house, like cheaper healing rates from the nurse. And you might get cheaper stuff from the gunsmith, but I don't really know. Okay, I'm going down a different tunnel, this one. Oh. Just to add more rope. I'm really glad for my bird. He was doing a great job. Oh, nice. Okay. That's my 100th banner, uh, since I defeated him twice. No, since I defeated... Gosh, I meant that's my second banner, because I defeated 100 of them. No, oop. Okay. Well, there we are. Oh, we can actually go a little bit further down, I see. Oh. Thank you. Please stop hitting me. Okay, let's see if there's anything cool down here. Oh, it goes a little bit further. Okay, that's good. That means there might be more shadow orbs down there. I'm probably gonna go, uh, oops, not fall back in the hole. I'm probably gonna try to get this one right here. Um, just because it seems rather manageable. Plus I could probably get this ore too. So I'm actually going to turn one of my bombs into sticky bombs right here, just so I can get a little vent going, instead of having the bomb like rolling everywhere. Okay, and then demonite ore. Oh, that's what that was. Okay, I guess I can go demonite mining. Uh, to get some of it, but I don't think you can turn it into bars unless you have uh, a demon scales. Okay, here's a big boy. Okay, and then let's do two bombs. Ooh, let me make- oh gosh, okay, I thought I was not gonna be able to jump up. Um, and then honestly, I think a bomb might work, but it might not have- oh gosh. Why? Nice, okay, so as you can see, I got a musket, and we see that a horrible chill goes down your spine. So that's the um, notification that you have broken one of the shadow orbs, which means you need to wait two more until the Eater of Worlds comes. So I just wanted to say thank you guys for tagging along. Wait, is this the night? Yeah, I think it is. I got distracted. I thought it was silver. Um, I just want to thank you guys for coming along and for watching me explore the left-hand side of my- Oh, that was a cool flash. The left-hand side of my world, and then for watching me, um, I try and fail to explore some of the cave systems around, and then also see this really cool cabin in the corruption area. So I think next time, um, I might fight Cthulhu, I might build some more houses, we're gonna see. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!